tell you that. Yes. Book right in the danger field, and uh, I see we got Madonna Sissa coming in, too. Okay, I'll see you in 2006, Mr. Sloan. No, I said 2007. <laughs> oh, okay. 2007. Let me go tell my boss. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> what did I feel like a jackass? <laughs> uh, do you want to know where the studio's at? Who's doing the Stallone impression? Oh, that's, that call? <laughs> that's Richard. That's Richard, yeah. <laughs> it's so dead on. I thought we hired Fred Travelina for a second. <laughs> so here's what's going on with the studio. It's at a very preliminary stage. <laughs> <laughs> Boss, Sylvester Stallone's going to be in. I told him the eighth. That makes me feel good. All right, let me play you some more bits here. All right, this is kind of uh, mean. So Richard Christie and Benji played a prank on Evil Dave Letterman when he was here. They told uh, Evil Dave that he had to go in and cut a uh, promo for Bubba the Love Sponge. Mm -hmm. And he was doing it. He's a good guy. He was doing it as Dave Letterman. And then um, those guys said, oh, my God, you're going to get, Benji goes, you're going to get in trouble with Howard for cutting a promo for, uh, for uh, uh, you know, for Bubba the Love Sponge. Wait a minute, after they told him to do it? Yeah, someone else told him. Jerry told him to do it. Uh-huh. And then um, he freaked out, and then Benji made him, Benji and Richard said he better apologize right oh. on tape to Howard. Uh -huh. <laughs> so here it is, Richard and Benji play a prank on Evil Dave. Can you need to say a couple things? For sure. Jerry? Say, hi, this is Evil Dave Letterman. And you're listening to the Bubba the Love Sponge show. Hi, this is Evil Dave Letterman, and you're listening to uh, Bubba the Love Sponge. Oh, God. But it's the Bubba the Love Sponge. Hi, it's me, Dave, and you're listening. Wait, I talked. Okay. Okay. And wait, I talked over the beginning, though. You wait, wait well, why are talking. you even doing uh, things for Bubba? I thought, like, like, Howard's your guy. That's what I thought. They called me. I didn't uh, know Bubba. Would... Who, who called? Well, then let's not do it. No, 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 no. It's already been done, and Howard has to know about this. Who who authorized this? No, nobody. A Jerry or something? I, a Tim? I don't know. Tim. Hey, who told you to do Tim, the Bubba is it okay if he does this? Oh. Nobody. Uh, okay. Then why'd you do it? Uh, Howard just... I didn't even... Howard just... He heard you doing the spots out in the hallway. Well... I don't know. Yeah, I'll tell him. What does the boss want me to do? You better write an apology or something. Well, I mean, if you're getting in trouble already, you might as well finish the spot. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I thought we had the... I thought it was okay. No. You want us to lose our job? No, of course not. What, what am I supposed to do? You should apologize. I, you can just record an apology here if you want. I should have just left after I did that phone call. I should have just left. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Howard, this is David uh, calling. I, um... I apologize. I I, uh, I was called putting brain in gear before I opening your mouth, and I didn't mean to overstep my boundaries on something. Please forgive me. And um, it was my fault. I screwed up. I didn't mean to. I should have put my brain in gear before opening mouth, and I I didn't realize what I was doing. So I'm sorry. And I I take full responsibility on it. I'm sorry. I screwed up. I admit it. At least I admit it when I screw up. Sorry. You gotta say that Rich and I were not in the room when this happened. Okay, and also, and had nothing to do with it. Rich and Benji were not in the room when this happened. Um, I was just trying to be. A, Richard, Richard That's believable. Richard did not tell me to cut the lines, and I was just trying to be a team player. And I saw, I apologize. I didn't mean to. Can you just say it was your idea to cut the was, the love sponge line? It was my idea. I I I fucked up. I take the blame for it. I'm sorry. I really am. Um, I, I should. I whatever it takes. Um, you want me to do a wacky answering machine for you, Beth? I'll do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that free? Remember that time that Fred got real in trouble when he fucked up and everything, and then Fred made up that song. Did you sing? I can't sing. I'll do what I can. What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh my God! Can you just, like sing an apology? Or? Yeah. Yes. He's saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Howard. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> It'll never happen again. I just I don't know what else to say. I'm I'm, I'm feeling bad about it. I'm sorry, Howard. I'm sorry, Howard. I fucked up royally.
<laughs> these guys have just been fucking with me. And these guys have just been fucking with me. Wait a second. We weren't supposed to mention your names, were we? Ah! <laughs> you you get yourself away there, Sherlock. <laughs> all right. Well, we all had a good laugh, didn't we? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're totally fucking with Thank yeah. God you were. Well, there it is, Benji and Richard messing oh, with Evil Day. Wow. wow, brain and gear. Yeah, is he? He's <laughs> retarded, right? I felt so horrible. Uh, Gary, what did you want to?